cold today. Zero degrees. Zero degrees. It's um, what's that? Eight thirty, guys. Welcome to the new new video. Finally. Hope you're finally. all going well, and we are on our way to. That COVID nineteen is doing our head in, but hey, the gates are open again, and we are ready to rock. So we are ready to get into it today. So we're about an hour off our destination. Um, today we're going hunting with uh, Daniel from Ultimate Hunting Australia, who bred snake for us. Um, our amazing English pointer here in the back and we are super excited to get out there and do an awesome hunt with him and his dogs and excuse my voice that I've woken up and I've I've almost lost it for some reason so <laughs> <laughs> sounds funny you're gonna have to just deal with it but it's gonna be very interesting to see how he operates his dogs and um, yeah, I cannot wait to catch up with him um, and um, learn learn from the master pretty much when it comes to dogs English pointers he's incredible when it comes to that so it's gonna be yeah, an amazing time exciting. and um, the weather is gonna be awesome today tomorrow it's, it, I believe it's gonna be still pretty nice and um, I think Wednesday it's gonna it's gonna rain a lot so but we'll see anyway hopefully we get a deer hey hopefully we have to get the big boy and yeah? we'll see how we go <laughs> Awesome day today, huh? I know, I should be just contouring down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, what is happening? Welcome to a new YouTube video. Super pumped to head out. This time we're gonna actually head out with the man himself, the owner from Ultimate Hunting Australia. So very excited to learn learn from you today and we're gonna head out and um, yeah. What's the what's gonna be the deal today? Well firstly we're not going full drive on where you normally go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I like my car too much. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. We're we're heading up up towards the high country on the on the way to Bright. Yeah. We'll we'll be on this trip. Uh, so awesome. we've got two days of nice well today and tomorrow nice weather. Yeah. Exciting. And then uh twenty to forty mil of rain. Yeah. So hopefully for, okay. for Wednesday. Oh, yeah. This but is gonna be awesome. Hopefully we'll drop something before then. But um yeah, Sneak is such a well rounded dog. He's an amazing family dog. He's just over twelve months old now and the ability that we've seen from him so far has been incredible. Like his natural ability. Um so it'd be really good to get out into the bush and, you know, pick up on those cues that we maybe don't see um, ourselves being first time hunting dog owners. Mm. So it'll be good to, you know, have Daniel along with us and yeah. um, I wanted to ask you as well, like what were these dogs originally bred for? Because I've had people asking me, oh, a, a, an English pointer pointing deer. Mm. Like, that's not what they're normally bred for, so. Uh, all, all bird dogs. Yeah. They're still bird dogs. Yep. Still terrific on quail. It's just a matter of, as you've seen in the training program, showing them what you're after. Yeah. And then you guys are doing a pretty good job of killing what you're after. <laughs> and they are. Um, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, you can't get a deer dog without some dead deer. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. It's sort of the reality of it. Definitely. about you guys but I'm super super pumped to see what we're gonna get today and uh, Daniel as we speak and uh, he's gonna collect a bit of firewood we're gonna create a bit of fire over there um, so we're not gonna get cold tonight it does go uh, minus degrees up here yeah it's like minus what at night time Daniel could be minus a couple minus a couple similar like back home in Austria so <laughs> exciting times ahead anyways um, yeah let's rock and roll guys Fat <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I think we sealed that deal here. Man. <laughs> Holy Man, that crap. was intense. We were walking right. up. Okay, so first of all, we came over this little bit of a ridge line of spur, came down. <coughs> Dottie was pointing like a fucking mad trooper. It was amazing to watch her work. Um, we basically just followed her in. Um, How far then, you reckon? Oh, a couple hundred meters. A couple hundred, yeah. yeah. A couple hundred meters. And then contoured around this. Um, this spur here and well, first, first she was pointing down there for a while and then we scared it away yeah yeah we well, scared it away. We well it wasn't scared it was just a little bit onto us wasn't yeah, it yeah, because was yeah. that was a dry noisy face to come down a very yeah. dry noisy so that that hind anyway down below i got eyes on her through my scope thanks to daniel he spotted her with the binos um i couldn't get a clear shot and then we kept contouring around this face um as we we're contouring around the dogs were indicating up there but Marcus happened to be looking up there and saw her moving yeah. across the face back the other way. And she's a big one. It was one. probably a different, a different hind, I would say. There she's, was, um, I thought I saw two. Yes, yeah, definitely a, a different hind. hind. And I got a shot in off the tree. I mean, it was... Because we wanted to go down that way. And I said to Danny, look, the dog's pointing up that way. And then Danny was trying <coughs> his powder and it, it was pointing. It was going that way. So the wind was actually going down towards us. So the dogs were pointing this way. And we searched everything. <coughs> And then my eye I corner, she was standing up there. She was a, she's she a was, big doll. She's a big hind, that one tail. She was standing broadside. Um, we put the camera on the angle, doll. More in an angle up. Did you get her on film? I put it get on film. I'm not sure if you hit it though, because, yeah, we'll see. She, she didn't but it was, about, it was about 80 metres away. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, hope we, we hit it purely so I can watch you carry it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be epic. How we'll far in are we? We're probably a K, a K in. Yeah. Oh, oh, and it goes up that way. So it's all up. There's definitely something in there because they keep going back to those oh, yeah. blackberry thickets. So, but we've walked all day, haven't found any sign, have we? It's been pretty dry. And then the one opportunity at three thirty in the day. Yeah, a little bit of. What's little the bit time of, though? At about quarter to four. Yeah, okay. so a little bit of sign as we drop down. If there was more sign. Yeah, it's just amazing. That was so good. Well, we'll see how we go. On the camera, it looked like she. She walked away like there was nothing wrong, but you never know, yeah. When if the bullet travels through, who knows, yeah. Yeah. Usually they who, jump, yeah, they jump in there. Sort of a bit irrelevant with the the thrills in the in the chase. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. That's been an epic day. Really I tell good. you what, like the first time today, I was I had to look down. I was just about to pass out because <laughs> I was like, you know, looking up that way. And as we look towards the right, and she was standing right there, man. Yeah, yeah. That was well good. Done. Good spotting. Well done, yeah. Yeah. Let's good see spotting. How we go. Yeah, it. Doesn't look too good here. Yeah. Usually when they hurt, they should lie down in a, in a gully, but looks like she went up the hill again, so no blood, no nothing. Man. What do you do? How it goes hunting. That's right. I mean, it wasn't a completely steady shot, so um, if it was a clean miss, then yeah. So it's a lot different to um, what different to sitting, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. You just got to expect the action will happen quick, and Very yeah, and that just makes the risk and. Yeah. Adrenaline and fun and no reward. Blood. There's no blood anywhere, so. No. We've come 350, 400 metres now. Easy. Yeah. And yeah. not a sign and of the dogs. You know. Oh, they'll keep going. And the great things about an English pointer, they've got white legs. Yeah. If you had to hit it, you'll see the mi most minute bit of blood if they run through it. Yeah, they're uh -huh. the trail. Yeah. So you can see on this dog, not a single bit of. Even moisture at all. So. That's a really good point, actually. Look at the dog's yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah it looks like yeah. Yep. That's, That's really good. Yeah, definitely. So no, no marking on the dog at all, which yeah. means she hasn't gone through any blood, not even any gut shot. I, I think it's just a clean mess. Yeah. Yep. I mean, the time you had from there it is to shoot was ten seconds. At least, yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. 10 so seconds. you know, she was onto us because it was so dry, and noisy, and there's three of us. She was looking straight at us. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's all right. The thing is, you know, we're just going to have to have a look. I'm going to have to have a look still over there because you just never know. Some of the same, but if they don't hit 100%, they run for a while. Like we shot deer before, they run four, five hundred meters, and sometimes there's no blood at all, and then they lie somewhere. So, but the only scary part is the gully down there, and it seems like she went up the hill again. So, and she also followed the track, and that's a big concern. So, anyway, oh, I reckon tomorrow. there's always tomorrow, and the night's not over either, guys. What do you reckon? Definitely. So. It is what it is.
Here we are coming up this gully bottom and we got thermals coming down. It's really showcasing the value of getting your dog to work in front of you. We've got Sneaky and Dotty crossing both sides of the gully bottom, working both dropping thermals. It just, it's so limiting if your dog's too close, but what we got here is absolute coverage both sides, which means we can cover more ground because we don't need to be watching as diligently. We just need to watch the dogs. Awesome. Sneaker's doing really well, one year old dog. Shoot it, Daniel. Shoot, shoot, Daniel. Pass here for a sec. Pass here for a sec. Have you got it? No, I don't. Oh man. Did you grab the sticks? Oh, listen. Yeah. There's a shoot. Oh, that's a stock, sorry. <laughs> so. That's adrenaline charge. Oh, fuck, that was good, man. Yeah. That was awesome. I don't know if I did if I hit it. Huh? There's a lot of sticks there. Good eye as well, Daniel. Man, he just saw. Oh, the dog was smiling oh. again. Amazing. Man, not often I do that. The dog's there, center. I'm looking. See the deer? Yeah. That's all standard. Yeah. Steph gets on the sticks, all standard. Yeah. The deer runs cross gully onto the same face as me. Yeah. And I ran off. I almost put the bayonet in. Marcus has got me all pumped up with oh. his enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> I've run up to this log, oh. 80 metres uphill. Yeah. Shot at this thing as it stopped through the thick stuff. I, I thought I got a good shot. Awesome stuff, hey. You run like a 20 year old, hey. I couldn't even follow up. I'm feeding off your energy, Marcus. <laughs> feeding it. Well done. And well spotted as well. Yeah. You said there's a D up there, Phil Marcus. I couldn't even see it. Oh man, how was that? Oh. Let's I mean, go, that yeah, is amazing. Let's go straight to the spot where we find time. Yeah. Man. Oh boy. I have to say, guys, Daniel's dog is unbelievable. Our dog is a little bit younger, but he was also pretty much on point. But hey, numbers don't lie at the end of the day. That was two deer here, one deer over there, in just one afternoon, so. Incredible. Amazing, huh? Oh man. Oh boy. Now, good luck. Good luck, we're gonna find that deer. It's, it's a calf as well, the meat on the, on the calf, absolutely amazing. Oh, and Daniel is running like a 20 year old man, can't even follow up. Running us. Okay, Daniel what's happening? You are choking, you absolute sharpshooter. That was Austrian style that one. <laughs> well done, well done man. The elite online Oh others. my god, yeah. oh man. Well done. Hold up there. Well done. Oh my goodness. No, that guy over there is a different story. I mean, the deers were running and he was just charging <laughs> up. <laughs> turned into a wild dog. This man here is an absolute gun, especially the way he trains the dogs. It's just incredible. So those dogs, those, those dogs are on point. And man, you wouldn't even see the deer unless they, they look up to it. So I am, oh man, I'm happy like a little child today. Oh, look at him, look at him digging. Look at him digging. <laughs> Oh man, this is awesome. Oh wow, what a good eater too. 
Well done, Daniel. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, such a reader. Turn away. Uh, uh, the dogs are having fun, eh? No sign yet. There it is. So it was quartering away. Okay. So awesome. it's gone just in behind the front shoulder. And still, good shot. Yep. Good shot. Well, guys, what a hunt oh. with that legend here. What a way to end day he, one. <laughs> man, couldn't even keep up with him. Runs like a 20 year old. <laughs> and Unbelievable. He, his eyesight is definitely a different story. I mean, we walked in, he, he looked at his dogs. And he, was, he said there was two deers up that hill. Already. And then we, we both looked up there. I couldn't see nothing. But then Danny was pointing at him. And well done. You, 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 you're very, yeah, you've definitely impressed us anyway. Impressed that's us, for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and especially with those dogs. Yeah. I mean, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, I, it is funny. You know, I get to make look, I look all right because of these. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. easy when you know how to read your dog. You know, like you can do all the training in your yard. You know, you guys are doing it. Year old, a heap of training. You can train all you want. But learning how to read your dog, yeah. learning how to work with your dog and having the trust in it not to keep it restricted yeah. and let it work. Yep. Like when she told us that deer was there, she was 100 metres, mm. 100 metres across looking up. Yep. And it's like that was just the difference in at least seeing them before they were running. Yeah, yeah, she was definitely and, indicating. Uh, yeah. it, oh, it, and, and hopefully you guys out of my training program have, you know, learned how to read the dog just because making them sit and stay i mean where's that, that going to help yeah but it's incredible. definitely been helpful being out here anyway and yeah. watching you pick up on your dog as well because there's been times where snakes on that too and we haven't maybe been quite entirely sure but now yeah. you know doing this um yeah. it's just yeah it's amazing and your agility man <laughs> you real. are fast this guy I is wanted incredible bad, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want bad. feeding off him <laughs> <laughs> i could hear him cheering get him, get him! <laughs> <laughs> awesome well anybody looking for english pointers that is the man. Yeah, He's the owner. We're going to actually leave a, a phone number or, a, or an email address just below that video. You can always reach out if you're interested in getting one of these dogs. So, all right, we're going to drag it out and uh, happy hunting, everybody. And uh, hopefully, see you guys tomorrow. Now, that is a setup, I would say, Daniel. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm soft. <laughs> huh? No, really, nice setup. Let's have a look in there. Oh, wow, look at that. Awesome, nice bed over there. What do you got here? Like a fridge in here, fridge in there. Yeah. A couple of chores. There's a stove up the top. Man, this is unreal. Love it. Looks like a little, like a little hometown. <laughs> nice. Cold beers in it. Wow, well, awesome. Thank you so much, Daniel. <laughs> what a fantastic hunt that was today, man. I... That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And different. <laughs> oh man, very very different. But um. It was a lot of lot of fun. Now we've got the fire up and running over there. Daniel, he made the good fire. I'm gonna yeah. sit around and enjoy a beer. And you guys are definitely fun to hunt with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff, man. Loved it. Action packed, eh? So good. Awesome. Doesn't a few get, hours in the bush and just yeah. action. Doesn't get any better than that. Honestly, that is yeah for us real living. <laughs> Wow, oh, that is cold this morning. Anyways, good morning everybody. Hunt number two, day number two. We're heading up now. As you can hear, um, Daniel he's making a coffee for us. Yeah. So we're gonna have some a good coffee, good nice warm coffee in the morning. Morning Dottie, morning. Dottie is ready to go. She did so well, <coughs> she did so well yesterday, but that is cold today. That is cold. We're gonna leave at about 8 o'clock, 8.30. Have a nice cruisy morning. See you guys down in the gully. I'm gonna have the coffee now and then we're ready to rock, yeah? yeah? We'll make a plan. It's a lot windier than it was meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah work it out. And we're going down that way today and the wind is actually well, charging we'll that way, so. so we, we might have to change your plan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
sun's gonna most like hit that face first. That's where the deer goes. That's where the deer goes, especially in the winter time when it's freezing cold. They go where the sun goes on first. So we'll see how we go. Day number two. A wombat just fell down the ridge while we're waiting for Daniel. gets on with his day. Nice, a nice meal for Mr. Daniel. <laughs> nice uh, eye fillet. There you there go. There you go. Yeah, Try that out. Stuff. See how it is. Not sure about this one. <laughs> what do I have to do with the garlic? Just keep vampires away. <laughs> <laughs> What's the verdict? It's more tender than I thought it would be after a day. Yeah. It's not bad. Good. A little bit barky. <laughs> no, no. It's actually pretty good. Perfect. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit different today. We're actually going to sit and wait. So, um, yeah, very excited. Daniel, you know, is a, a good face. And we're going to, most likely, we're going to go somewhere up high. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel is going to face maybe towards the left, that face. And we're going to face maybe another face. And then see, maybe we got we got lucky one more time, hey? Yep, we'll let each other know if we see one. We can call each other to it. Otherwise, yep. everyone for themselves again. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. awesome. See you guys down there. Here goes the shot. Dotty. Dotty. Stefan and Marcus are down there on the other side of this hill. I said that we'll go down to the bottom, have a sit and wait. I don't have the patience for sit and wait that well. Plus Dotty, as soon as we got down below one, one little gully, the thermals were starting to drop and she wanted to go straight back up the other side. So we did. Dotty pointed that hind that you just saw and I shot. And I'm pretty sure it rolled around up there. So, more work, but more fun. 
Too bad I don't have Marcus and Steph to pump me up. Awesome stuff. You got it on film. Did you um? Yeah. Did, did you? Is it down? What is? What was it? Awesome. Awesome stuff. Oh, well done, hey. I've got a bit of a mission to try and <laughs> get there and find it. Okay. Right, well, we're making our way over anyway, so. We're, so we're about to use where I said on the map, right? Yeah, we went. Send us. Was, yeah, we went all the way down that spur line. Send us a dot point from the from the on your map. Send us that, and then we come up straight away. Yep. Yeah, no worries. I've got to try and make sure I stay dialed into where it is. It's going to be. I've got to cross two gullies. <laughs> awesome. Well done, we've got half an hour before dark. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Um, so it's right, if you guys go right on the spur, I'll try and mark it as best I can. Yep, awesome, okay. Alright guys. Alright, bye. See you then. Oh man, we are back at the car now. Man, that was a hell of a journey. We just trudged all the way back up that spur line and it was, it was, yeah, a lot further than we thought. And um, yeah, Daniel, if he finds the deer, um, hopefully can bring bring back a, a back leg and just a back strap. So we'll just meet him back at the car anyway. So we're just back here now waiting for him. And yeah, we'll see how we go. See how we go. Well done, <laughs> Mr. Daniel. What is going on? <laughs> hey, oh my goodness. Both legs. Oh man. Have you got the back straps as well? I'll throw them up there. Yes, just oh, throw them up here. Oh, well done. Awesome. Well done. Good, Good job. job. Man, man, man. <laughs> what that a was, hunt, that hey? That was legendary. <laughs> oh, boy. You got the back straps in the back as well? Yeah. Oh, mate, you are a beast. The front legs were no good. You are a beast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, so it went in the... Time, mate. Oh, man, what an epic, epic time. That yeah. has been so cool. Yeah, man. It's been yeah. so awesome. Did you get it on a camera? Yeah. By any chance? Yeah, I definitely got it on film. Like so yeah. how did you... How did you, did you was it the GoPro or what? No, no, or I just... had the camera on the trial. Oh, mate. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a feature on the new camera where it shows me. Yeah, shooting, yeah. So. Awesome. Oh, mate, that is awesome. Well. Been fun. Oh, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> How many deer have we well seen in the end? Oh, well done. Five, Maybe. six. Yeah, seven, eight. Seven, eight, yeah. <laughs> Easy. Man, man, man. Well, well done, by the way. This is amazing. Backstraps, back legs. I mean, yep. well, there's no there's no chance for us to drag that thing up. That, nah. You know, we were all the way down and steep in the gully, hey? <laughs> oh man oh. well congrats yeah awesome two deers on the deck and yeah. um i reckon we're gonna start rocking home soon yeah we'll wrap it up yeah awesome yeah. well done good work guys it's been a blast all righty how did we go yeah well <laughs> worn out <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, it's been a good good couple of days i've thoroughly enjoyed myself it's been amazing you know hunting with you daniel and seeing your expertise especially with the dogs too blown me away and it's been truly amazing watch you work with your dogs and and find all these deer it's been a really really good time mm. you've done a good job with sneaker awesome. he's going well 12 month old dog and yeah he's a big part of the Man. success so. yeah and this only is years a, old only and, a year old you know on your gang yeah been a pleasure we'll do it again soon Definitely. thanks again <laughs> next time we rock and roll again so guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video yeah i hope you guys enjoyed oh man jump over his channel as well if you guys like check it check it out especially if yep. you're interested in english english pointers ultimate hunting australia oh. It's amazing. amazing, so well done. Yeah. And, uh, see you in the next video, guys. See you in the next video, guys, and uh, get after the big boys.